Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I like when you have the weasel um, mainstream media telling us what to think when they already uh, blew, uh, blew their trust away a long time ago, a long time ago, but they still are trying. Why? Because uh, there are certain people who didn't get the memo that those guys should not be trusted. So, nevertheless, they tell you uh, what do you need to know from whatever. Why is this happening? Why? And they give you their narrative. Don't believe their narrative. Look for it, read it, verify it, and then throw it in the garbage or uh, flush. So, we have here an article from NBC News. And while reading this article, just skimming through so I can um, make a little summary, so I don't have to read the whole article here with you guys, um, I found something else. Very interesting. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know the details. As I sometimes say, certain articles discussing this reveal something else that was not revealed when that something else was discussed in another article. So you find out things about this subject in this when they discuss this subject because they don't know. They're not supposed to tell us or I don't know. It's just the, in the analysis of this subject. They didn't disclose that one. Let me show you. So, we have this article, as I said, from NBC News, and it says the many reasons Netanyahu may be delaying an Israeli ground offensive in Gaza. And they give us here the humanitarian, blah, 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 blah. He's afraid that uh, they put about 360,000 um, Israeli troops at the border with uh, Gaza and so on, and they care about the civilians, all the NBC, the mainstream garbage, you know, which could be true, but from previous experience, I don't think it's true whatsoever. Uh, if they would care for the civilians in Gaza, they would not have stopped the water flow into Gaza or food or, or uh, energy. Okay, they did. So that tells me everything this guy, oh, they're concerned with casualties, they're going to give up. And then the humanitarian aid, after how many weeks they allowed some humanitarian aid to enter Gaza? Two weeks? Two weeks? How much? Uh, um, how long before you die of, I don't know, um, having no water? Two days? Three days? Four days? Uh, what about food? Two weeks? <laughs> My friends, it's just a coincidence, I'm just saying. But that's a fact. What I said is a fact. Uh, turn off the water, le allow uh, supplies to, turn, to, to enter uh, Gaza. We're left after about what? Between, I think it was almost two weeks. So nevertheless, let's go back here. They tell us here, here that Netanyahu cares for his uh, people and all that, which could be true and so on. I will tell you my, uh, why, why, why I think this does, did not occur yet. What the fuck? I'm not finding my... Blah, 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 blah. I think that the Israeli wants to pick up the hot potatoes with someone else's hands. And that someone else did not agree in the keyword yet to do it for them. That's what I think. Because when Israelis, or if the Israeli army will move into Gaza, they will have a lot of people dead. And that would, uh, and they don't want that, obviously. Who wants that? Nobody wants that. So that's understandable. It's not going to be like 100%. Right now, they hit them with missiles and rockets and whatever they hit them, they cannot be hit back. Well, those guys, I think they launch some rockets here and there. But it's not the same thing as you go in. You expose your people to being blown up, shot at, and so on. So that's one reason. He wants to minimize the losses of his people, which is understandable. But if he can have the American people go over there and fight for them, why not? Please. So I think it's a little bit of like, are you going to come in? No, we're not coming. It's too obvious. Let, let us build a little bit the... What's this? CB, uh, NBC? Yeah, let NBC build the whole thing first with Fox News, with CNN, with MSNBC. Let them build it so people get, to, oh my God, they have to go in. Hey, America, you have to do something. People are dying over there. Intervene right now. And they say, okay, we're going to intervene. <laughs> Americans go over there and fight. That's what they're doing right now. So that's, I think it's one of the main reasons. The other one is, I think that the big prize here is not the Palestinians, is not Hamas. Uh, they're just, as I said, a means to a goal. The goal is Iran. And I think the fact that Russia, probably China as well, told the Americans, back off, mofos. Uh, they're, they, they're just posturing over there. and mm, mm, mm. But they will not go into Iran because of Russia and China. 
there's a lot of channels channels of communication behind the, the scenes between these guys don't worry about it a lot of negotiations a lot of threats and a lot of uh, name calling i guarantee you that so that's the main reason why these guys hold off uh, not because netanyahu is uh, he's old he's gonna die in what 10 years at the most how old is he 60 70 almost 60 uh, all right so forget about it but what i found interesting in this article ram pam 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 ram pa ram pam 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 zoom pam 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 that's why i didn't want you to read all this with me whoopee here it is iran backed militias they say are also active in syria iraq and yemen i just uh made a video on Yemen. These guys want to attack Yemen now too. On Tuesday, US military officials announced that two do dozen American military personnel were wounded last week in a series of drone attacks at the US bases in Iraq and Syria. Now, two dozens is 24, all right? But I think it's more or less. Uh, they say wounded. I suspect there are some that were killed. But again, we're going to find out from a different article. They will discuss... Uh, I don't know, the weather or something in uh, Iraq or Syria, they will tell us, oh, by the way, in the attacks, uh, 20 Americans were blown up. Uh, and then you find it from the weather article, uh, something that happened in that. That's how I usually find out shit, real things. Now, what's going on here? We're wounded last week in a series of drones of US at US bases in Iraq. What the hell are you doing? I thought, the, uh, what are you doing in Iraq? I, th I thought that freedom and democracy was already mission accomplished over there. The Iraqis are, have, are free, are democratic and all that. Why do you need that over there? And you tell, tell us about Russia having imperialistic trends? Jesus Christ. Oh, the Iraqis want you to stay over there. Why? To make sure that those guys in power do not get <coughs> by the people? I guess so. You did it before and you're going to do it again. Oh, yeah, but second one in Syria. What? Oh, what? The U.S. bases in Syria? Why? How? Well, you know, that's illegal. I mean, if we are to consider Syria as being an independent, sovereign country as, um, yes, Ukraine, <laughs> okay? You have bases over there sucking, not that, but oil uh, from Syria and selli selling the oil where? If you sell it or just use it for yourselves, my friends. And then I know drones attacks uh, occurred over there. I didn't know they were wounded. Now I know. So uh, that's more than that, my friends. Well, more than, uh, you know, uh, okay, there were some attacks here and there. I didn't know they were wounded. I think I uh, read an article where they say there were no uh, ca casualties, no uh, wounded, just some property uh, destruction and so on. So the reason why these guys are not, is Israel does not enter uh, Gaza, I think because they cannot convince those guys to do it for them, or at least to to be the, the 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 biggest the biggest force over there and yeah the the guys will also support them with uh, yeah yeah go over there yeah that that bush over there yeah oh the, shit he's blown oh my god oh yeah yeah go over there the, 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 some trenches over there that's the israel's help to these guys <laughs> i'm guessing and why not why not in these kind of circumstances i think they they think this way why should i have my children be killed when i can use your children right Unless you think they don't think that way, you know, but anyway, if you don't think they think that way, I mean, put yourself in, the, in their shoes. Would you want your child to be blown up over there or someone that you don't know? Obviously, you don't want anybody to be blown up. That would be the best option, but that's not an option in this case. So if you have to choose between your child or someone else's child, as ugly as that sounds, I guarantee you that you would say, I want my child here. Uh, sorry. And that's what uh, seems to be coming in, uh, in Gaza. So that's where they hold off. What do you think they are, what, three weeks into it? And they didn't do, they didn't uh, conduct an invasion? Yeah, you said they hit here and they hit there. Uh, the anger is gone. I'm um, already part, part of it should be gone. I know it's things like this you don't forget and all that. I understand. But like in an argument, it wanes away a little bit. You need to plan. I don't think that these guys did not have a plan. I don't think Israel did not have in its military strategy a plan in case this happened. I don't believe that a bit. I mean, this is like ABC 1, 2, 3. It's not like, uh, I don't know, uh, rocket science over here. No, they have it. They have it. And when something like this happens, they just access it, take it out. 
open the folder and say, okay, guys, what are the details? The dates are changed, the numbers, the little tactic, but overall, you have it already pre-planned. I mean, they all have it that way. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.